Today we're making Christmas stockings for the Stockings for Soldiers organization. You'll want to get the pattern off of their website. You just print it out onto your paper. It prints onto two pieces of paper. Cut it out. Tape it together. Be sure that it measures 15 and a half by 9 and a half when you have it together. You'll also need two pieces of fabric right sides together. You'll need a piece of felt. It needs to be either red, green, or white measuring 5 by 15 inches and then you'll need a scrap piece of felt as well. Pin the pattern down to your fabric. You're going to cut right out on the lines and then you'll be ready to sew. Lines cut out. Make sure the toe is facing to the right. We're going to start it up here. We're going to sew around with a quarter inch seam all the way until just right above the heel. We're going to stop right about here. So we'll take this machine and sew that. All right, we're starting in that upper right hand corner. Our toe is facing to the right. We're going to sew right around until we hit right above that heel. I'm right above that heel. I'm going to take a back stitch and a front stitch. We want to secure that. And then we're going to take that off and we're going to be able to pin the felt on next. Our scrap piece of felt. We're going to make that into a loop matching raw edges. We're going to also match it with a raw edge of the 5 by 15 inch piece of felt. We're going to put it about half an inch from the edge. We're going to take our stocking. This is the top. And we're going to face it, open it face up. And we're going to match it up here. What we're going to do is back it off the corner just a little bit. I've found that it, as it as you sew felt and fabric together, it kind of shifts a little bit differently. So we'll just back it off just a little bit. And then we need to pin this all along the way. So we'll pin the loop in. And then we'll take another cup, put another couple pins in here as well. What you'll see at the end is it doesn't match up and that's okay because we're actually, when we're about finished, we're going to cut that off and that'll be our loop for our next one. So right now we're going to take it to the machine, do another quarter inch seam all the way across here. I'm going to start at the end that does not have the loop. This is the piece we're going to be cutting off later. We're going to start in the fabric itself. We're not going to start at the edge of the felt. And we're going to take a couple stitches and then the quarter inch seam all the way. When you get to the loop, you want to take your pin out. You want to hold that tight as you go over it. You might have to feed it through a little bit. So it looks like this. What we're going to do is we're going to flip that up. And so the felt is being pushed up. We're going to start from the heel and we're going to finish it up here. We're going to go right up to the felt, but not sew the felt. So another quarter inch seam right up to there. I finished that off. I started right above the heel, went up to the felt not including it. What I'm going to do next is turn this right side out. We have something that resembles a stocking, but we need to finish up the felt here. So now again, we need to push the felt to the top. This is where our little piece is going to be cut off. You can either cut it off right now, or what I like to do is I sew this with another quarter inch seam again, and then I cut it off next. So I'm going to take this to the machine. I'm going to start here, sew down here, do a couple back tacks on both sides to secure it, and then we'll cut this off. So I've sewn this up here, like I said, and then we're going to cut this extra edge off, and that's going to be our uh, loop for our next time around. So I just use this. You could also use scissors as well to cut it. Use that for later. Our stocking's just about finished. Now what we need to do is we need to turn the cuff down. Your loop's going to pop up. We have a Christmas stocking now. You can press it if you'd like. It's a quick and easy project, a great way to contribute. Be sure to visit the Stockings for Soldiers website. You can print off the pattern there as well as written directions. You can also get a list of other things they're looking for for contributions and also be sure to check their deadline. They do have a deadline of when things need to be in for the current year.